Yeah, yeah it says it says recording at the bottom. Oh yeah. Hey, cool. Thanks. Hello and welcome back to my weekly Turk log. Uh, this video is week 10. This week I'm going to be covering an addition to my health supplement stack before I get into my weekly Turk update because it's important. I was messaged by someone who discovered me through Greg's Instagram post on my Turk builder use warning me that Turkestrone causes kidney disease. I knew he wasn't trolling me or anything because he's been extremely supportive and we touch base every so often. He himself is planning to document his own Turk Builder use or ecti steroid use in the future, and he's already pretty aesthetic. He linked me to an exercise for cheat meals video titled, Trichesterone Causes Kidney Disease. Just from the title, I was extremely concerned. I thought that Trichesterone had no side effects. Uh, I watched the video and the video was clickbaited on purpose to prove multiple points. I think you should watch the entire video yourself. It's a short watch, but too long didn't watch. The video is about him being linked to a study showing another ectosteroid ectizone causes kidney disease in rats. This is relieving because that means that tricesterone, Turk Builder, and ectisterone still have no side effects to our knowledge. Uh, however, to be safe, I did start looking into kidney health supplements. Seabum takes a kidney health supplement from his sponsor or one of his sponsors, and I looked at it. It is too expensive for me to justify using. After some extremely light research, I found that the number one ingredient in Seabum's kidney health supplement is the most beneficial to preventing kidney disease and is extremely cheap to take in extract form. Astragalus extract. Right now, I take 2000 milligrams because this extract is four times as potent as the whole herb, I think, if it is produced the same way as the one that I'm showing on screen. 7,500 milligrams to 15,000 milligrams of whole astragalus is the dosage range to reduce risk of kidney disease. Uh, for budget reasons, I am taking the lowest end. The extract is four times as potent, so 7,500 divided by four is 1,875. So I need to take 1,875 milligrams of the extract at a minimum to prevent kidney disease. I found people on gear even take less than this, but they are supplementing it with a kidney health supplement on top of that. Uh, more Place More Dates takes, I think, 4,500 milligrams of his own extract, which he sells, but he is also way heavier of a guy than I am, and he has more anabolic usage, I would assume. I don't really know what he's on right now. I don't think anyone does. This one that I bought off of Amazon, which I will link in the description, uh, was the cheapest astragalus root extract that I could find, and is 500 milligrams per pill. I take four of these for a total of 2,000 milligrams, which is just over the 1,875 milligram minimum. Just to reiterate, I'm taking this just to be safe. Trichesterone has not been found to cause kidney disease or have any negative side effects. This video was just 
a clickbait title. We do not know the long-term side effects. For all we know, tricasterone does cause something with kidney disease in the future. So taking preventative measures, especially when it's only $10 for a month's supply, is reasonable. Um, so to preface this week, this was Christmas week. I binge ate for three days straight, December 23rd, December 24th, and December 25th. My body weight clearly reflects that. So body weight is completely ignored. Uh, to be fair, last time I binge ate on Christmas, I gained 10 to 12 pounds, which is a lot of water, and I only went up to 172, which is about six pounds. Uh, strength changes because of all the calories in my system from binge eating it enabled me to increase load. And I've gotten personal bests in uh, both weight and rep range for shoulder press, row, leg press, and my most reps for 335 on deadlift, not a high weight deadlift though. I just wasn't feeling it that day, I think. That's it for this week. I mainly wanted to cover kidney disease prevention. There is no literature suggesting or showing that tricasterone causes kidney disease. A completely unrelated ectosteroid, ectisone, is what causes kidney disease. I'll see you all next week. Thank you for watching, and shoos.